Hey guys, I'm Bob from Totally Unique Life and I'm here in my shed workout area. And today what I'd like to do is unbox and assemble this fist up dumbbell rack. I'll show you a picture of what it will look like at the end right now. Um, I have a bunch of different uh, dumbbells that I have actually built. Um, I use the Yes For All uh, dumbbell handles that um, I have a video about the, using these and uh, how I compare them to other dumbbell handles. Uh, you might want to check that out. So what I do is I actually build my dumbbells when I need them. So uh, as you can see, they're kind of strewn um, across the floor over here. Um, and uh, I really want them to be up against the wall on this dumbbell rack. I'm looking forward to putting it together. It looks like it's fairly straightforward. Um, it's, uh, it's only a few pieces and I think it's eight bolts with, uh, with nuts uh, that you have to attach uh, to create the actual um, dumbbell rack. So um, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to just flip it over and um, open it up. Okay, comes with, looks like it's a manual, manual it says uh, shape your body, you are lim limitless. Here's one of the sides, Go here. It has a fairly small footprint. That's what I wanted. I don't have enough space in here to have a large um, rack. So this is, uh, this is perfect for me. The actual sections here go on the outside. This is, these are the uh, sections that go on the inside and that's pretty much it you have the hardware right here it actually comes with a little with a couple of open end wrenches I don't think I will need those I will use my own but I could use them here they are here um, they come with the nuts and bolts Here they are right here. There's a, basically like this. There's eight of them, I think. Yep, there's eight of them. So, move the box out of the way. Just basically goes like this. You can see that. And you have the, I'm going to just kind of put these in just to hold it up here. I'll do the bottom one first. Now, I'm just going to take the other nuts and bolts and uh, finish doing the last four.
Okay, I'm just gonna take um, one of the bolts, thread it in. It's a very quick setup. I'm just hand tightening them right now. Just eight holes, eight bolts, eight nuts. That simple. I'll probably fast forward this. So I decided to use a socket set um, instead of these tools that came with the um, with the rack. Um, it'll either take a 48 millimeter. Uh, metric or a 9 16th uh, standard so I'll use the the 9 16th I am going to use the open end wrench that they came with just to hold the nut itself Well, that's it. That's all there is to it. The um, the rack is done. It seems pretty stable on its on its feet. There are these um, feet that come out right here that uh, should keep it nice and stable while it's on the on the ground. Uh, let me give you the dimensions of the unit. I'll. Um, include those in the description as well. I'll also leave a link to this product, Amazon link. So we've got 26 inches wide from the widest portion, same down there, um, from the floor to this top uh, bar, it's 19 and a half inches. So it's gonna fit perfectly in the space that I have over there. Now let me move things out of the way and I'll put the dumbbells on the rack. So here it is all put together. Um, I think it's gonna be perfect for this area. Um, after I put it together, I noticed that this is probably a better rack for those small dumbbells, or the 10 to 15 pound ones that are all one piece. as you could fit a lot more in the different rungs that are available here. Um, I think this is fine for what I have. Um, I couldn't actually have a, a whole lot more in here. I have a couple of extra dumbbell handles that uh, I wanted to create some, some more um, dumbbells. Uh, and you can see the bottom ones, um, they, they almost don't even fit in here because everything just kind of rubs into each other. So the 25, these are 25 pound weights. So they look fine there just sitting next to it. So, I mean, I think it's going to work for me. Um, but if you have uh, the room, uh, a bigger, a bigger space and you have more dumbbells, you may want to get a little bit bigger uh, of a rack. But this is, this is perfect for what I need right now based on the amount of dumbbells that I have. And I always make my dumbbells when I need them to do, do flies or, or uh, press or whatever I'm going to use them for, curls. Uh, so anyway, I think it's going to be fine for, for my needs and in this spot in my, in my shed workout area. So uh, I'd say in another couple of weeks I'll probably do a review of this rack. Um, after using it for a little while and um, we'll see how that goes but for the time being it's neat it looks nice in this spot of my of my shed workout area and uh, we'll see how um, how it works out for me as I as I use it um, during the week uh, the next few weeks anyway if you enjoyed the video please um, like it um, and I hope you subscribe to my channel and thanks again we'll talk to you next time